So I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna set up a painting station. Wow, transitions are quite a thing, aren't they? I just need to get the deck out here. Oh my God. What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. You're with your man Saundesi and today I'm actually bringing you a brand new video. What are the odds? Anyway, so basically my plan for today is, as you already know in my previous videos, I actually had that Phoenix deck, got it chopped down, welded back plates and front plates on, and then actually spray painted it. I'm not going to be riding that deck yet. I'm going to put that on the shelf for now and then use it if need be. But then I also showed you guys that video where I thought I was going to get the signature decks, but then I actually got those prototype Phoenix ion decks with like the cutout and the head tube, which is super crazy. I'm actually so hyped that I got that even more hyped than getting SIG decks because I've honestly not seen anyone with those decks. So I'm super hyped all around. But anyway, I'm sure the title obviously gives it away. I'm actually going to be spray painting one of those ion decks with the cutouts down the head tube. Spray painting one of those gold. As you know, I cannot go from gold anymore. Gold is my color. If I ever get a SIG deck, it's going to be gold, guys. Without a doubt, you obviously know that. Gold is my color. So I'm going to be spray painting that gold because I'm going to be putting it on my scooter and hopefully riding it in a few future videos because my deck is getting old, crusty, beat up, everything. It's got dents in the bottom where you grind it. I'm super keen to slap a new deck on, wear it in, and it'll just feel like magic. That's how it goes. So I'll show you the deck that I previously spray painted left half two colors it's like a two color deck it's super sick i'll show you that real quick and then i'll also show you the prototype deck that i am going to be spray painting now remember i've got two i'm only going to be showing you one because i'm only going to be spray painting one leaving the other one black if i ever need it in the future it's just good to have backup parts guys especially when you were riding every day like i am so let me quickly show you what we're dealing with here so right here we have both the decks i was actually talking about the top one is the one i've already cut down this is actually five wide but it came 21 which is super sick it also came square but it does not have any square backs on it, which is a shame. So I'm going to have to come up with a little DIY, something or other that I can jig up in there that'll make that real solid so the backs don't cave in when I feeble and stuff. As you can see, having those plates there would help a lot. So this deck is ready to go. I'm actually pretty hyped that I can put this on my shelf and not have to cut any decks down or spray paint anything, be able to get it how I want. All I need to do is just grip the deck and slap it straight on my scooter. So that's really convenient. But I just want to spray paint this one because I'm really eager to actually ride this. Like, look how cool that looks. Look how cool that looks. You can you even can see your fork through there. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so hyped on this. But we're going to get to spray painting this today. That is what we're going to do. So this deck pretty much has nothing to do with today's video. I was just showing you that and telling you why I'm not actually using that deck just in case you guys get a little confused. So let me get that out of there. There we go. So now this is what we're left with. The prototype ion deck. It doesn't even have a graphic on there. This is looking so slick. I'm not going to be running this. I am going to be running a Chetty because you guys know Chetty is life. Chetty or die is the way to go. Leave in the comment section down below if you think your boy should get a signature foot fender. That would be insane. A Saundesi foot fender. I am renowned for manuals. Can you imagine a Saundesi foot fender just... Just on there, just however it would be designed, just perfect on there. It would be beautiful. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So I'm going to go outside and I'm going to set up a painting station. You guys already know this is the place where we come spray paint, but this is not protected yet. We need to set up newspapers on here, tape them up, just make it real safe and sound so no paint gets on here. Because as you can tell, I've done a real nice job in the past. I've done this a few times now, so I'm pretty experienced at it. Let's get this set up and get all the newspapers out and just real prepared for what needs to be done next. Wow, transitions are quite a thing, aren't they? So as you can see, we've got a nice setup place here. Not much of a back wall, but we have upgraded on the tape since the last video. We have some chunky pieces, so I'm guaranteed that I won't come out to see when my deck's dry and this all just blown over and the paint is wrecked on the deck because that has happened before. So all we need now is to find the spray cans that we need. And I've already tested both of them out in the previous spray paint video and I know which gold is the best. So I already know what the go is with that. This won't take too long. I just need to get the deck out here. Oh my God, and not just the deck, but we need some paint. So let me go retrieve that out of the drawer. And this is where all the paints are at in this bucket. We just fish around and grab out the gold. These look like they'll do the trick. I really can't remember which one is the best one, but we'll figure it out with a little spray on the newspaper. Oh yeah, look at this. This is going to be a good project. Just a little request. Scroll down a little bit and smash that like button. You know what? Squash that like button. Get the likes on this video up and show a little support because, as I say, I'm never going to stop bringing you videos no matter what. And that's a fact. But anyway, let me get back to the video. We're going to test out the spray paint and find the gold and then we'll start spray painting the deck. It's going to be good. It's going to be sweet. And as I said, drop a like on this video. Pretty sure this is the one. Actually, no, I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Guarantee. Guarantee that this is the one, right? Yeah, that is the one. That is the gold I'm going to be using. Not need this one anymore. Let's get it out of here. 
and this is going to be the one we're going to be using. Let me set up the camera and we'll get a time lapse going. I'm going to start with this top side here, spray this gold, and then we'll flip it around and start getting the bottom done. I'm probably going to do two coats in this whole thing just because I kind of want to put some time into this, actually make the paint kind of thick. So let's set up the camera and get the time lapse going. Oh my gosh, I almost just stuffed up big time. As you guys probably already could tell the whole time, and I probably just looked like a big idiot. Just about to spray the deck, and I did not take the back spaces off or the brake. Oh my god, we gotta get that off real quick before we actually spray this. That almost turned out quite bad. Brake and axle are now off. Thank god I caught that in time. Let me just quickly check if there's anything else out of order. No, we're chilling. We're good to go. Sorry about that inconvenience. Let me get set back up and we'll get into the time lapse. <laughs> getting there it takes a fair bit of paint to get the initial coat starting to look real crispy and golden but after the first whole initial layer of paint is on there it all starts to stick on really nice and just come out perfect that's why at the moment it's looking kind of slow because everything just needs to attach to the paint at this point but now that most of it has done so it's gonna go a lot quicker and start getting more gold really fast so let's finish off this coat before we wait for it to dry flip her around and then start doing the other sides <laughs> Damn, see what I mean? Now it's just looking so golden and crispy. Hopefully I have enough paint left in this can to finish this deck off, otherwise that would be bad because it's the only can of paint that I have that is that color. You can't do two golds, so we still have to do half the deck, the bottom of the deck, and another coat, so I'm really just fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed, but so far, oh my god, 10 out of 10. Let's give it five minutes and let this guy dry. Five minutes is now passed and she's looking as good as dried. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yeah, that is dried. So what I'm gonna do now is actually flip the deck and then we'll start spray painting the next side of it. She's now flipped and as you can see, we've pretty much done everything but this side, the underneath of it, and I wanna do the crooks and crannies all in the little spaces and stuff on the second coat. I'm sure the second coat will get all of that done. For now, I just wanna get the majority of like the big spaces done. Paint's looking a bit low, hopefully we don't run out. Let's set up the camera and get the time lapse started. Oh my god, I actually love the choice of gold that I've chosen for this. This is looking so good. Now, like the other deck, when I actually put on the clear coat on top of this gold, it actually took away the brightness and the glow of the gold, so I might not do that with this one. I might just do a few continuous coats of gold, and hopefully it does not scratch too easy. And if it does, I can always respray it and try this again and do some clear coat on it or try a different paint, whatever the case may be. Now, since that is done, I'm just gonna let it dry, but I'm gonna come around to the front and start spraying that because I've missed that a little bit, and at the back because I've also missed that because I've only been attacking the two sides. So I just need to do the front and the back, and then we'll flip her around once she's dry finish her off and get started on another coat. Oh my god, this is looking so prime. Let's give it five minutes and then we'll come back and check on her. Five minutes has passed, well honestly half an hour has passed, I completely forgot about it and I kind of wanted to give it a bit more time so the paint wasn't sticky and my fingerprints did not embed into the paint because I don't really want it to look ugly or anything so I'm going to flip the deck around and set up the camera and we'll get started on the bottom and then hopefully we've got enough paint for the second coat. <laughs> This is one of my favorite parts, guys. I actually love seeing one color go to another with a bit of the good old spray paint, especially on scooter parts, because I know I'm gonna be shredding this bad boy. So let's start off a little time lapse. <laughs> Wow, would you look at that? <laughs> oh my god, oh my gosh. Honestly, next time I spray paint deck or well, any scooter part, for instance, I'm actually going to crack out the old paintbrush, get a nice palette of fresh colored paint, and just go ham on the artwork, just do some real nice stuff. Just make a whole cool, complete design on it. I actually might do this to this deck once it gets real scratched up and is in need of a respray. That is now the deck fully sprayed. I'm obviously going to do another coat on this. Well... 
at least with what paint we got left i'm definitely gonna need to restock for the next spray paint video hopefully we can get another coat out of what spray paints left and that will be that we'll get to run this bad boy in no time let me just show you guys a few close-ups real quick with a little bit of music in it just to make it look real nice and professional before we get into the second coat when i'm in memphis i be chilling smoking plenty blunts and they know i'm juiced up too i'm a hydration uh brother say keep switching cities boy you I We've now waited a good bit and it should be dry, so I'm gonna straight get started on the second coat of paint. Use the rest of the can, just get it done and dusted. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to flip it around or not, just depending on how much paint there is left, we're just gonna have to see. But the deck is pretty much done and then I'm gonna leave it to dry overnight and then when I wake up in the morning, since it's gonna be better lighting, I'll actually be gripping it and stuff. <laughs> So I'm gonna speed this process up real quick. We'll have waited for this to dry and flipped it around and get started on the next coat. But I'm gonna skip all that and speed this up for you guys and just get the camera set up. Just start filming when I'm getting set up on the next coat. <laughs> second coat is now basically a hundred well it is a hundred percent complete we're just going to wait for that to dry there are a few wet patches there as you can see i just finished spray painting it now this is actually 98 percent empty we're definitely gonna have to restock on some paint if we're gonna do another one of these videos but for the meantime it was perfectly enough to finish off this deck i'm gonna wait for this to dry clean up this whole area bring the deck inside hope you guys have enjoyed this segment so I've now let the deck dry, brought it inside, it's completely dry, it's looking so nice, wait till you guys see, it's crazy. As you can tell, it's a little different right here, I don't actually have my bucket out on at the moment, it probably looks a little weird. You know what, I used to rock these and I still honestly do from time to time when I don't feel like wearing the bucket hat. Majority of the time, I'm on the bucket hat. So let me just quickly show you the grips that I'm going to be using to grip my deck and the deck. And then next video, since it's all finished up, dried, spray painted, the whole lot, I'm going to grip it up for you guys and I'm actually going to be putting it on my scooter and riding it. Because my deck that I'm currently riding does not have much life in it so so let me quickly show you what we're dealing with oh my gosh this prototype ion looking thing is so nice not only that but we have a fresh sheet of saundesi grip tape right there let me focus up my camera is boof i might need a shop for a new camera sooner or later not gonna lie let me just get close up because it's not really working here we go we have the fresh sheet of saundesi grip tape the gold deck look how prime that is looking dried up super nice it's looking amazing not only that i have all these colors of grip tape here just in case i want to get a little jazzy and do a little something in there because i'm sure i would do that i'm a creative person i like getting creative purple light blue we have the dark blue fluorescent color green definitely going to use this Are you ready for the reveal? 